Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to day two of Security Breach Week 9, full, very long, very in-depth videos on the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's title being developed by Steelwall Studios FNAF Security Breach. Yesterday, for day one, we took a deep dive into the true secrets of Gregory's wristwatch, and today I'm going to share my thoughts and theories on the establishment of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. So like I said not too long ago, this is day two out of nine of Security Breach week. It seems like a lot of you guys really enjoyed day one, so I cannot thank you enough. Hopefully you are as excited for day two and also the entire rest of the week because again we have nine full videos leading up to the second tech demo for the game so if you're enjoying the content boys please double check make sure you are subscribed and also that you've smashed the like button it's the single best way to help support me the channel and everybody watching also leave a comment tell me your theories on not only gregory's watch from yesterday but also the mall for today and in general just the entirety of fnaf security breach so let's not waste any more time and let's go back to the very start where we first learned about the pizza plex on august 8th 2019 over a year and a half ago we got our first look at what we now know today as Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. In the teaser, we can see Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy, Montgomery Alligator, and also Roxanne Wolf performing up on stage in front of a lot of freaking people in this gigantic mall. On the left, you have a laser tag arena. On the right, you have Fazbear's Pizza. And in front of the animatronics on the bottom floor, you have a cinema. And then above that, you have an arcade. And after that, in August, it took us four more months to get our next look at the mall. Now, you may have forgotten about this, but in the non-VR version of Help Wanted, when it released back in December, if you made it through Pizza Party, then you got invited to the outside world. Finally, we can go outside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza into the outside into the outside does that even make sense anyways when you go through the employees only door you find yourself in a very festive very snowy environment you see a gigantic billboard made by fazbear entertainment saying coming soon now hiring and then in the background you can see a construction site with a gigantic crane this is of course the mall being built and i touch upon this a little bit later on in security breach week but this does prove that sb takes place 100 percent after help wanted so now that we have the origin of the mall out of the way let's talk about the mall itself as we know of it today by the way if you get confused why i sometimes call freddy fazbear's mega pizza plex a mall but pizza plex is obviously a mix between pizza and complex and a mall complex is basically a mall but it's freaking huge with a lot of stores and attractions and it's pretty safe to say that that's exactly what the mega pizza plex is also since day one we thought that it was a gigantic mall and i've kind of just called it that ever since but anyways the official description for the Mega Pizza Plex is as followed. Hey kids, do you want pizza? Well, Fazbear Entertainment has spared no expense developing the world's most extreme family fun center, Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. At three stories tall, it's the flashiest, raddest, rock starringest, and safest pizzeria the universe has ever seen. Of course, Freddy and the band are excited to meet you. Utilizing the latest in animatronic technology, you can actually party with the stores themselves. So on your next birthday, Day, let Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex make you a superstar. So I kind of touched upon this yesterday with the whole connections to Disneyland and Disney World, but I mean, there's more proof right there. You can actually interact and meet with the mascots themselves. But of course, the most notable thing to take away from the description is that the mall is three stories tall. Three stories? What the heck? And to my count, we've seen at least 20 to 30 different rooms. I'm sure I've missed quite a few, but I'll go over the ones that I counted right now. The arcade, the atrium, the cinema, some creepy hallway, the distribution area, El Chip's restaurant, an elevator, the entrance, Fazbear's Pizza, the Phaser Blast Arena, the Phaser Blast Counter, Glamrock Beauty Salon, the green rooms for Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Roxanne, and Montgomery, wherever the hell the frickin' hand is at the end of the gameplay trailer, an ice cream parlor, the kitchen, Monty's Gator Golf Course, a museum presumably, some offices, a play area, Roxy's Raceway, what is assumed to be a security office, the sewers, a staff area, the underground passages, and the utilidors. I'm sure I miss some. Whether it's because I'm dumb and there's too many goddamn rooms in this frickin' mall, or I just gave them different names than what you're probably used to hearing them as. I mean, I'm looking through all the rooms right now, and I've already missed some in my list that I'm reading off of my script. The Glamrock Gifts area, 
the freaking lobby. On the left hand side of the lobby, you have Fazbear's Cafe, the disco room in the Phaser Blast Arena. I mean, there are a lot of locations in this mega pizza plex. It truly is a mega pizza plex. So how the hell are we gonna be able to explore all of these locations in a singular game? I'm sure it's pretty obvious by now. We've seen it in the gameplay trailers. I'm not gonna beat it on the bush. I do think that this game is going to be free roam. If it's not 100% open world, and by that I mean there are absolutely zero loading screens in between the areas, then it's definitely free roam. Again, it could be open world, but I'm not entirely sure. It would be very distracting and would take you out of the experience if you're running away from Montgomery and then all of a sudden you go into a different room and you're greeted by a loading screen. So there definitely is that possibility of complete open world, but we know at the very least it's free roam. Now, like I said earlier, I know I'm gonna touch upon this in a future video in SP Week, but how exactly at the very end of the timeline what we can assume how does Fazbear Entertainment have this much money? I mean, we know in one of the endings in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim that Fazbear Entertainment is quote, no longer a corporate entity. So how the heck do they still have this much money to build a mega pizza plex? Surely the VR game didn't do that well. I mean, I'm sure the VR game was very successful, but definitely didn't bring in as much money as you need to build a mall, a complex of this size. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the answer to how the heck they got this much money but I can answer you the question of, where's the money going? Now it's very hard to make out, but in the tech demo in NVIDIA GeForce's teaser trailer, you can see in one of the office's whiteboard, the following text. Drive new earnings, we need more money. With three exclamation points at the end, so you know that they are in dire trouble. And that brings me to kind of where I wanna wrap up today's video. I know, not very exciting, but it definitely does get you thinking. What will happen to them all at the end of the game. Does it simply just shut down because Fazbear Entertainment doesn't have enough money to support it? Or the more interesting outcome, does it burn to the ground? Now I will be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of what Scott's doing with William Afton and him coming back and burning in fires. It happened in FNAF 3, it happened in FNAF 6, and now allegedly it could happen in FNAF 9. 3, 6, 9, oh, there are all multiples of each other. <laughs> I think that could be complete coincidence, because depending on who you ask, Security Breach could be the 10th FNAF game, it could be the 8th. So I will say, whoever the big scary voice is in the gameplay trailer does tell two people the following. You will do as I say! You will bring me what I want! And if you fail me, then you will. Both of you! Both of you will burn, you say, hmm, hmm, in what is allegedly the ninth FNAF game, hmm, and what other FNAF games got their buildings burned, hmm, three and six, hmm, what follows that, nine, hmm, hmm. I realize that's kind of a stretch, and I also realize that this has happened at least two other times in the franchise, and like I said earlier, I'm not the biggest fan of Scott repeating all these patterns, but you never know. Maybe William Afton's like a freaking Mario boss, and he needs to be hit three times with flames to be killed. I don't freaking know, man. But that is my dive into the Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. I know, definitely not the most interesting video, but I really do like Security Breach Week because it gets you thinking about the game. I also think SB Week is very exciting because it not only makes me get talking, it also allows you guys to get talking in the comments down below. So tell me, what are your thoughts on Gregory's Watch? What do you think's gonna happen to them all? How did Fazbear Entertainment get this much money? And I will see you guys tomorrow for day three where we take a look at some of the new characters being introduced to this new FNAF game. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side.